Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're going to be speaking about Roy versus Monday.com. Which one is better? Which one is a better brand for your business? We're going to be speaking about their advantages, their disadvantages, features, and integration. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe. And let's get on with this tutorial. Is Monday.com any good? Monday.com is actually very good. In fact, is one of the project management tools' favorites out there. It is priced well, has a ton of features, and is super easy to use. Roy has also a great free plan. In fact, we think it's one of the most important draws as it's almost a full suit of tools all by itself. We definitely recommend checking it out as well. Which one is better? Now, Roik has a plan of $9.80 per month, while Monday.com has an $8 per month. So both of their basic plans, we can see that Monday.com is actually cheaper. The first round is usually the longest, which we're going to be talking about is features. Task management. The way you keep track of things is surprisingly similar for both pieces of project management software. You create a project, set a default view, and you can choose from lists, tables, Kanban boards, or Gantt charts. For one, Monday.com seems to prefer to use the list as a default, much like Asana does. But this is probably the way to go as Monday.com list does a good job of letting you enter tasks and add details to them like due dates. Rike, on the other hand, seems a bit more confused with what you should be doing on your default view. This is good because you feel less railroaded, but it's bad because there isn't one central place where you can add details. For one, Rike's list view is split up into two sections, with the spreadsheet view taking up about half and the rest going inside the list. This makes entering task details a bit of a call. Rather than work Working from an overview of the list, you need to instead add the details through the back of each card. Because of this, we found ourselves defaulting to the Kanban view a lot. Rike and Monday.com integrations. We'll finish off this section by discussing integrations. Both offer a few, though neither is a Trello or Jira, which are built around letting you plug in third party applications. Rike offers a tiered system where each successful pricing plan allows more integrations. We've not seen that before. Be that as it may, both Monday.com and Rike let you integrate their platform with anything from Salesforce to the best cloud storage solution. Monday.com list is a bit more extensive, but in the end, you can always use Zapier or JF Triple T to implement a process that's not on offer. Pricing. Monday Monday.com has a basic plan of $10 per month and a standard plan of $12 per month. The pro plan is also $20 per month. Roik is $9.80 per month. Business is $24.80 a month. And enterprise, you need to be contacting the support for the pricing. Small businesses should be going around $10 per month and bigger businesses should of course get the enterprise plan. Storage space. Both of these have a basic free plan. Monday.com has a 5 gigabyte while Roik has 2 gigabytes. Standard professional is 20 gigs and pro businesses and enterprise have up to 5 terabytes while Roy has only 100 gigabytes and there is a massive difference. Free trials, both Monday.com and Roy offer a 14 day trial of their highest tier plan. So pro for Monday.com and business for Roy. We recommend you check them out before committing to either as you have very little to lose. So we talked about Roy and Monday.com and we've talked about what integrations they have, their free plan, what is the best side you can get for your business. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like and a subscribe and I'll see you soon.